This week, we're in Suffolk. Using our professional home-finding skills to find a house for a couple just about to have a baby. Since medieval times, Ipswich has been the county's capital. It's the current home of tonight's house hunters. They want access to the city's amenities, but from the quiet comfort of a country home. It's always been the dream to have old farmhouse or house to do up, and now I've got a family on the way, uh, it would be a good time to do it. Well, it would have been a good time to do it six months ago. Until recently, Suffolk has offered the house buyer good value. But the secret's out and prices are rising. Nevertheless, price-wise, Suffolk is still a great choice for the London commuter. And there are some amazing finds out there if you're prepared to look. My ideal home would be somewhere out in the country, large house, uh, lots of land. It would be nice if it had some outbuildings in a bit of a ramshackle state. Put your own signature on it, spend some money on it and turn it into uh, our dream house. Dotted with charming villages and market towns, the rural landscape seems timeless. I think Mother Nature tends to take over and you, your nesting instincts kick in. It would be nice to, at this juncture to be somewhere settled. Some assistance would be absolutely fantastic at this point in time, yes. It's, it's not quite desperation point yet, but... Uh, we're getting there. So let's get Hi. to it. Hi. Good morning, Hi there. Sir. Hi, Mark. Hi. 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 People call me Brown, actually. Oh, hi, Brown. Hi. 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 So Brown and Cherry wanted a landed estate bursting with period character, but what is their budget? Between 200 and 300,000 pounds, although if there was something that came up that was spectacular, I think we would be flexible in looking at going above 300. Our quest starts 13 miles west of Ipswich, at the village of Great Bryset, where we're stepping back in time and entering a medieval world. Oh, it is a surprise. You asked us for uh, something with character. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> That's got an extraordinary wow. amount, hasn't it? This 15th century house has a huge dining room, stunning gardens, and it's on the market at £325,000. Oh, wow. Pretty amazing, isn't oh. it? How absolutely fantastic. You want a character? Yeah. <laughs> oh. The central bit of this house where we're stood at the moment was built as a hall house, which was just four walls and a hole in the um, roof where the smoke went up. All the family and the pets and dogs and cooking and everything would have happened in this room. You can actually almost feel the people that have lived here before. Yeah. Whoever lived here clearly had a lot of money though, because you've got the reading on the beams and the egg and dart detail and there would have been workmen crawling all over this place and it would have cost a lot of money. Something of a rabbit warren, there are two staircases feeding ten sizeable rooms over two floors. There's a slight problem in this house which is very common with very old houses, is there's a lack of corridors and some of the rooms are entered and exited via other rooms. But I think it's not something that we can't solve. It's got a slightly sort of drunken feel. Yeah. <laughs> Much of these timbers may have wood rot, but it's probably only in the outside inch where the, 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 the sap of the wood that's suffered, the actual heart of it should be very fine indeed. And one just leaves that. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to show Cherry the bathroom situation. Well, Brown and I see if we can squeeze through that door <laughs> when we're sober. It's like Alice in Wonderland. It's it? an Alice in Wonderland hole. <laughs> it really is a bit of a squeeze. Now, as you'll see, um, it's dated, this bathroom, but in a very different way from the rest <laughs> of the house. I think this wallpaper's got to go. My idea is to make it into two smaller bathrooms. Do you see there are two windows? And if you put a wall up here, yeah. you could access this small bathroom from there. My only concerns would be for all the plumbing. Once you've got a bathroom, you can shift it round. Yeah. Obviously, the house does need work, and it's already at the top of your budget at £325,000. So the question is, you know, could you live with it and do it gradually? And that's a difficult one. The house is magnificently set in tranquil rolling gardens, but do Brown and Cherry feel at home? We'll be quite happy to sit here for the rest of the day. Glass of pins? Yeah. Not for me, of course. Well, it must be extremely rare to find a house so old and yet so original. But tell us, Kirsty and I are dying to know your thoughts. It's just fantastic, idyllic. Uh, my only reservations are uh, it is near the top end of our budget and there's a lot of money that needs spending on it. So no decision made either way on this house? 
No, but no. a great start. Fantastic great start. start. Oh, yeah. well, let's get going then. <laughs> a dream home, despite their reservations. Our next property is 18 miles north of Ipswich. It's even older, but you wouldn't know it from the outside. This house is on the market at 335,000, but it doesn't need much doing to it. This former Tudor pub has five receptions, five bedrooms, a stunning office and several outbuildings. Dating from the 14th century, it's on the market at £335,000. Now, as I was coming in, I mentioned that this house needs a lot less work than the others. But this kitchen is the newest bit of the house. Yes, almost too modern for my really? liking. Yeah. It looks like it's a great working kitchen, um, but I would say that it's, too, it's more modern than I was expecting from a... I think it hides the fact of the, the, the history of the rest of the house. We step through this way. It's almost like stepping back in time coming in here. We've lost the ceiling height, we've gained wonderful beams. Does it draw you as much as the first house? Uh, not me, no. I, I like the idea of being able to start from scratch with a blank canvas and doing it our own way. Moving on through, you've got these beams which Phil pointed out, and then you've got this arch. Now this middle bit of the house was, like the previous house, a hall house. But this is even earlier. This one dates from the 14th century. So just think how many generations have walked under this arch. Flanked on two sides by its own garden, the property backs onto farmland. That would make a decent building plot, wouldn't it? Right at the end of the garden. Clearly, if this was ever built on, not only would it affect your view, it would also have quite a serious impact on the value of your home. Find out who owns it and what their plans are and approach the local council to see what degree of development would or wouldn't be allowed here. That should cover it. Upstairs there are five bedrooms and adjoining the house is a sizeable office converted from a barn. There's also scope for further development here. But are Brown and Cherry suitably charmed? It's got one or two fantastic features. I love the office and I love the fact that the outbuildings here and it could be extended, but uh, I don't think it's for us. I think it's got a lot of character, lots of personality, and I'm sure it'd be somebody's dream home, but I don't think it's ours. Next stop, 14 miles west of Ipswich, is the charming village of Hawley. We've seen two properties at the top end of their budget. This family farmhouse fulfills the bedroom quota, and it's considerably cheaper at £245,000. Straight into the living room, this corner of the house is a Victorian extension from the main house, which dates from about 400 years ago. What's your first impression? This is the main reception room of the house, so it's quite important. I think with the low ceilings, it, it does have a feeling that you've actually, you're in a confined space, but I do think it, it, it does have potential to become a bigger room. And right now it doesn't, partly because of the furnishing, partly because of the decorating. But this is the wall which I really want you to get rid of. It wouldn't be very difficult, it's just breeze blocks, but you'd open all this up, you'd have French windows directly into the garden. Unlike the last two places, this house isn't listed, which means you'll have fewer problems knocking down walls and changing external features. We can actually do with making a bit more space in the kitchen, to be honest well, with you. It, it occurred to me that you've got four entrance doors to this property. If you were to shut that one up and block it up, and rearrange this space, you could pull some of the units out of the kitchen and make a lot more storage facilities. Yeah. But the best is yet to come. I think you'll rather enjoy this, Brown. What did that used to be for? It was a granary. You can have a look up here? Absolutely. I think this will be the best bit. Magnificent opportunity up here. With a house priced at 245000 I know that you were looking for outbuildings. Well, I mean, the reason for outbuildings was uh, working from home. I like to have my office at home, and this just fits the bill perfectly. It would convert beautifully into an office. Mm -hmm. Phil mentioned the price, 245000 So you've got to ask yourself, why is it cheaper? There are two reasons. The first is the A14, which you can hear, and the second one is here. What do you think that is, Brown? That looks and probably smells very much like a sewage works. Would that worry you? Yes, yes, it would be a concern for me. Right, OK. I mean, there ain't getting any getting away from it, is there? Yeah, although on saying that, if you hadn't pointed it out, we wouldn't have known. 
you would have known shortly after you moved in and the wind changed direction. <laughs> yeah.